everybody. I'm just gonna wait for some people to join me. Um, there's been some statistics that came out. Um, if you've heard of COVID-16, um, pandemic 16, something like that, the average American uh, or the average person has gained approximately 16 pounds during this whole pandemic um, episode. Mm -hmm. And it's not over. It's not over. Hi. It's not over yet. In fact, we don't know when it's going to be over, right? Um, so let's let's get healthy. I'm all about getting healthy. And there's, you know what, there's, there's two ways, two things that you can really do that completely impact every aspect of your life or of your health, I should say. As a nurse, I know that the healthier that you are, um, with the things that you're doing, the less likely you are to get sick. And if you do get sick, the more likely you will recover faster. Hey, Alyssa. Hey, Victoria. My 18 members are joining. So those two things that are completely under your control, like it or not, you may not like me for what I'm saying. Hey, so those two things that are 100%. Hey, Christy. I saw Christy. You ordered the pomegranate. You saw that I listed it. La, 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 la. Um, I know Christy was waiting for it. Those two things that are completely under your control, whether you like it or not, is that impact every other aspect of your health is number one, your dental health. Your dental health is number one. That's why I, I talk a lot about uh, dental health. I, I've got my dental detox kit. That's why I um, do a lot of education and a lot of teaching about keeping your mouth healthy. All good health starts inside your mouth. If your mouth isn't healthy, that might be where good health ends for you. Good health, good oral health impacts every aspect, including your weight um, of your entire body. The second thing that um, impacts health for every single person, um, regardless of uh, anything, uh, sex, race, religion, anything, is your weight. Your weight. If you are overweight, um, even by 16 pounds, it completely impacts every other aspect of your health. Thank you, Leslie. You just made my day. Um, yeah, ACV challenge, Victoria. I'm going to talk about that a little bit. So those two things. If you are overweight, you will have a harder time recovering from everything and anything. And it doesn't matter whether it is related to a virus, a bacteria, a surgery, a condition. You will have a harder time to recover because your body is um, probably signaling to you that it's full of toxins. You probably don't have enough um, hydration. Your hydration status is, is low um, and you're not getting enough fuel for your body to be able to get rid of toxins. Um, you know, the other thing that happens when you're overweight is you're more at risk for all these other things to break down. You're more at risk for high blood pressure. You're more at risk for diabetes. You're more at risk for almost everything that snowballs. And once that snowball starts getting bigger and bigger, you know what it's like. It's harder to stop that momentum. So as a nurse, um, I want, um, one of the reasons that I came out with my three-step weight loss program is because if there's two areas in your life that I can impact every other aspect of your health, it would be your dental health, my dental detox kit. Everything's backwards for me. Uh, I still can't get it. There it is. <laughs> dental detox as well as weight management. So if I can keep your mouth healthy and I can keep you losing weight to get to a goal, goal weight, uh, you will have the best chance at being healthy through everything, through pandemics, through cold and flu season. So right now, and I know, um, love her challenge. Yay. Um, Christy, thank you. So right now, and I know Christy and Jody and Victoria are doing it. Alyssa, I believe Alyssa, you're doing it too. My, my apple cider vinegar challenge. We are on day three. If you want information, just, um, cat can post, um, Kat, if you have it, can you post day three of the challenge? I think today's day three. Is today two, two or three? I'm a little head on email, so I started at the first. Day two. Kat, if you can post day one and day two, the blogs. Um, if anybody wants to catch up and get up to speed on what we're doing, 
I will, I am coming live on Facebook every morning. I'm going to try not to miss a morning and do a shot of apple cider vinegar every morning. The health benefits are so numerous. I turned it into a 30 day challenge. Every day you will learn a health benefit of apple cider vinegar. My goal is after 30 days, it takes about 20 days for you to put something into practice every single day to make it a healthy habit. So by doing this for 30 days, my goal is that you will be me or like me and after 30 days, you will just continue to do this as a daily habit. When you get up in the morning, whatever your routine is, whenever you fit this into your daily routine, you will three years down the road, when I'm doing this challenge again, you're going to be like, Trina, I did this with you three years ago. Alyssa did it with me. She said when I did this, it was about five years ago, I believe that we did this original challenge. The videos are me five years ago. It's really cool. I never redid the challenge videos. But what I'm doing on Facebook, if you want to join me, hey, Claudia, is join me in the mornings. Put your notifications on so you know when I go live. My, my kids, my boys do this with me, so they usually pop on if they're in the area when I pop up on Facebook. They pop on with me, and they do a shot of apple cider vinegar with me. So the first three days, actually day two, day three, and day four. Day one is like an intro. Day two, day three, and day four are three um, I had to break it into three parts. Believe it or not, apple cider vinegar can impact your weight, your weight in, in a lot of different ways. It took me three days to go through it. So I broke it into three parts. So you're going to learn how apple cider vinegar doing a shot a day can impact your, your uh, success at losing weight. And then it goes into a lot of other, it, it can help reduce uh, your blood pressure. It helps with mood. It helps um, prevent cancer. So I go into all these things, but the motivation behind learning all the aspects of what it can do for you is the motivation to keep doing it once the 30 days is over. So who's in, who's joining me? Um, oh, and, and it helps with heartburn. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Alyssa, awesome. All right, so today, um, and just a quick little tip on what you guys are going to get. So, um, and I don't know, I don't remember if it was in today's um, or tomorrow's, but here's a, here's a quick little tip if you're not sure about apple cider vinegar and how it can help you lose weight. And I've done this. I do this occasionally when I really just want to make sure that I'm not going to overeat. Um, uh, there's pectin in apples. When you eat an apple, it's like real, it's all full of fiber. It's the pectin that's in apples that sends a signal very quickly to your brain and says, I'm full. So have you ever noticed when you eat an apple, you get full pretty quick? It, it's very satisfying to you and your brain. It's the pectin. Apple cider vinegar has more, uh, more pectin in it than an actual apple. So when you're doing um, a teaspoon as your shot or a tablespoon as your shot uh, and you blend it with water, I teach you all that, um, you're getting more pectin. And so if you take a shot of apple cider vinegar 20 minutes before your meal, before you eat, that is going to send the signal to your brain that you are full. It's going to send a signal when you're full that you are full. Your brain is going to turn off. We have been so deprogrammed. We have deprogrammed our brain to know when our stomach's full. Seriously, we have supersized our plate and we have totally ignored the signal. So our brain no longer knows how to signal us to stop eating. We've been programmed to eat the entire plate, right? How many of you guys as a kid has was told you can't leave the table until you eat everything? We've been programmed to eat everything. So as our plate portion sizes have gone from this to this to this to this to this, this supersize, we still keep that programming, I have to eat everything. I have to eat my whole plate. So what apple cider vinegar does is it will, that pectin turns that back on in your brain to say, you, you're done. You're done, my friend. Leave the table. And you honestly, it shuts it off. You honestly could care less what's on your plate. You are done. So those are some of the tips you're going to get. Um, here's another cool thing. When you order my weight loss supplement, um, which I'm going to go into in a little bit, but when you order my weight loss supplement, you're going to get 50 hacks for diet control. It's going to help diet fitness. Um, also 50 days, you're going to get a hack a day. I'm writing them right now and they're really great. They're really great. Like, did you know, this is one of the, one of the pectin is one of them. That's a hack. But did you know 
that the color blue, so like the blue color of my life back there, the color blue is very good to eat off of. So blue plates are really good to eat off of because for two reasons. Blue helps you feel good and feel satisfied, is wh which is what the goal of eating is, right? Um, and it also allows you to be able to see portions, like the sizes of the portions you're putting on your, on your plate. When you're eating off of a plate that's white, or light colored, like on um, most restaurants, if you notice, if you go to m most restaurants, they serve plates, serve food on white plates. Part of the reason is because they never want you to be able to tell how much portion you have, and they never want you to fully feel full. So white's, up, white's bad. If you eat off white, you probably should ditch those pretty quick, um, especially if you want to maintain your weight or lose weight. Um, but eat off of a blue color, a darker color. So you could do black, you can do blue, dark colors. You can see your portion sizes much clearer, much clearer. And it helps your brain feel better, feel good. So condition yourself and go buy some blue plates. Um, the other thing, so that's one of the hacks that you'll get, but just knowing this just makes me irritated. The colors yellow and red, yellow and red or like a gold and red, um, increase your appetite. Anybody know whose colors are yellow and red? Let me bump this up. Are goji oil or goli gummies okay to get? Hey, Cynthia, let me answer that in a minute. Um, dissolves kidney stones. Oh, you're on it, Victoria. You're on it. Is it on an empty stomach, Tanya? You can do it on an empty stomach. Just just dilute it. You just want to dilute it. Apple cider vinegar can be diluted to just about anything. You can put it in a tablespoon in a, in a bottle of water like this. I tend to like to do it in the morning in about this much water myself um, as, as a tablespoon, just more of a shot, but you can dilute it. Just dilute it. You don't want to do it full strength, um, but can you eat more than once a day? How can it help keep you from overeating during other meals if you only do it one shot? So, Tanya, so here's the key. I My goal, if I can get everyone doing one shot a day, I have actually just helped everybody out in a big way. I've made a big impact in the health of everyone out there. If you do two shots a day, guess what? You're going to even be better. Three shots a day, you're probably even going to be better. I leave that up to you as to how many shots a day you want to do. When I was filming... That apple cider vinegar, uh, the whole series, it was me filming it by myself. I didn't have anybody helping me. I once did about 10 shots in a row because I kept doing the takes and I kept messing up. Um, so um, it'll give you diarrhea. It cleans you out. So literally, the di diarrhea isn't always a bad thing, guys. Sometimes it's your body getting rid of things. So, um, and you know, I, I had somebody comment that it'll give you diarrhea. Well, it, it probably will if you need to get rid of things or if you take too much. So, um, you know, if you, it, I leave it up to you and you can tell what, how you feel. Apple cider vinegar will give you a ton of energy. So if you do two shots a day, you're just going to feel better. If you do three shots a day, you're going to feel even better. So what you would do before the meal is... 20 minutes before you eat your breakfast, if you eat breakfast, I happen to like to fast until about noon, but you would do a shot of apple cider vinegar. That would be your morning shot. You can do a shot before lunch and do a shot before dinner. You can do it before two meals instead of all three. You can do it before just one meal. You can do it before bed. You can do it in the morning and before bed. You, you play around with what's good for you, but if I can get you doing one shot a day at the cost of apple cider vinegar, your I can totally impact health, which is my goal. That's my goal. So that's the deal. Darn, my plates are red. Ha, <laughs> Jody. <laughs> Do you guys know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So red and gold. Who, 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 who used red and gold? It was not. It, it was a big marketing. I mean, when you stop and think of the marketing, like geniuses behind red and gold, red and gold increases appetite. Think about it. Who who used red and gold for their um, restaurant or whatever you want to call it? Um, all right, I'm going to get into really quick how your gut might be to blame because a lot of people out there, including myself, suffer from digestive health issues. Um, and your gut might be to blame for, not completely, it's not. It's never one thing. Yes, Alyssa, Alyssa got it. She got it. The golden arches. 
Yes, think about that. I, you know, think about that. How red and gold increase appetite. My entire house is painted gold and yellow. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no. She's going to be painting blue this weekend. You're painting your kitchen blue, right? Yes, Jody, you got it. Um, everybody's going to be painting their kitchens blue this weekend. It's okay. It's a good thing, right? You know what? If it helps, I'm all about hacking, hacking things. Okay. Hacking things for the best. Okay, so the, I have a blog article. Kat can post the blog article. She might have already did. Um, if you want to look, read the whole article, you can. I'm going to kind of skim through the article and go through, hit the highlights for you guys. But your gut might be par partially responsible for why you can't lose weight. A lot of reasons. A lot of reasons. You might not be losing weight because your body's producing fat to because you're too toxic. That's part of what your gut might be doing is it's not able to get rid of those toxins. So what it has to do to um, it, your, your body is always trying to preserve your vital organs. That would be your brain. That would be your heart. That would be your, um, liver, your, the things that you can't live without. Those are your vital organs. So if it senses, and it has senses all the time, um, if it senses that you are too toxic, you have too much toxic, toxic, uh, or toxins in your body, it will, it will trigger in your body to produce more fat cells. Why? Because your fat is where I used to have my fat. Where's my fat? Um, your fat is where toxins are stored, right? Toxic fat. Have you ever heard of toxic fat? This is where it will store those toxins. It will take them out of your bloodstream, out of your gut, wherever, and store them in fat. So if you are too toxic, if you're not detoxing every day, we're retoxing every day, you will be producing fat cells. It doesn't matter what your activity is. You might be burning more calories, but you're producing more fat. So let me go into this a little bit. And your gut can signal your, your body to do that um, just because of the toxins that are in there. So your weight gain might have a lot to do with the biome, the microbiome. You've heard a lot of talk about microbiome. I talk about the microbiome. It starts inside your mouth. Your gut starts inside your mouth. So I'm not going to go into the mouth right now. But um, weight loss can come to a halt if your gut is sending out distress signals. Distress signals from your gut include bloating. If you get bloated, and, and bloating, you can kind of self-diagnose sometimes what's going on. If you get bloated um, about 20 minutes after a meal, then you probably have the wrong bacteria living in your gut. If you wake up and your gut is still bloated, you better check yourself with for SIBO or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or you could have too much candida in your gut. So you can kind of start thinking about these, these things. Loose stools. If your stools, if you're always having liquidy or loose stools, your stools should not be liquidy. They should not be too hard. They should be just nice and smooth, right? Um, if you're constipated, if you have weird sounds coming from your gut all the time, if you have pain and excess fat in your belly, um, those are distress signals that your gut is sending to your body. You don't know it. You don't, I mean, you might know it, but you might not be paying attention and not know that um, what those distress signals are ultimately doing is making your body produce more fat and not burn fat because it's got to keep you healthy. It's got to keep you healthy. So could your gut be sabotaging your waistline? All right. So what we know about your gut. This is what we know. Your gut is full of more than 1,000 species of bacteria, and research shows that obese and lean people have different types of bacteria in their gut. In their gut. Chances, uh, changes in your gut bacteria impact your metabolism, how effectively your body turns food into energy, and overall body fat. If your gut bacteria are causing inflammation and hormonal imbalances, it will show up on your scale. So the bacteria inside your gut is, is actually impacting your hormones. Toxins in your gut tell your body to increase fat cell production and hold on to water. Hold on to water. This is done to protect you, protect you from toxic overload when your body can't rid the toxins fast enough. All right, so your gut bacteria work together to digest your food, keep your immune system strong, and remove toxins. If you're housing the wrong bacteria in your gut, then everything tanks. All of those tank. 
and fat cell production increases to store those toxins to protect your brain and your vital organs from toxic overload. Everyone has a unique gut microbiome, which is affected by everything from your diet to your genes, but your weight is another key factor. So research, um, a study in 2016 compared the gut microbiome of obese and lean volunteers. The lean group had a more diverse anti-inflammatory gut bacteria. Huge. That's huge, right? Anti-inflammatory gut bacteria is extremely important in our immune system, our growth factor, our growth hormone production, all sorts of things. Um, let's see, let's see, see. Okay, in comparison, the obese group had a significantly more inflammatory gut bacteria and less bacterial diversity, all right? All right, so let's get you healthy. Changes in your gut bacteria drastically impa impact your metabolism, how effectively your body turns your food into energy, and your overall body fat. Studies found that a diverse mix of bacteria in the gut is key to staying thin. Naturally sl slender people have more bacteria from, um, th there's a, 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 a type of bacteria, it's bacterios, uh, didis, bacterio didis, Phylum is the bacteria you really want to have. Obese people have more um, bacteria. It starts with an F. It's Firmicutes, Firmicutes bacteria in their guts, which is actually correlated to weight gain. So here's some possible reasons for this. The Firmicutes, which is found in the people with that are overweight, consume more energy. So those bacteria consume more energy than the bacteria in the lean people, which means that obese people may absorb more calories from food than lean people, even without a change in their diet. They could eat the same thing, but if you have the wrong bacteria, you're gonna consume more of the calories. If your gut bacteria are causing inflammation, it'll show up on your scale. Inflammation leads to digestive conditions like leaky gut, malabsorption syndrome, food cravings, poor sleep quality, autoimmune diseases, and even mood disorders. So we want to reduce that. Hormonal imbalances can impact how you feel, um, how full you feel after meals, drive you to binge on foods when you're stressed, and even make you store fat. So those are the things that um, we want to work on. We want to convert the bacteria from that bad bacteria to the good bacteria. So here's a couple things. I've probably got like six tips or seven tips on what you can do. All right. First thing, you've heard a lot of talk about um, probiotics. I'm, I'm probably, um, I'm assuming that most people are taking some sort of probiotic. But there's a blend, like there's prebiotics, there's probiotics, and there's also postbiotics. So it's not just prebiotics that we need, we need more. So to support your gut health, follow a low toxin, high nutrient diet, and experiment with gut healing. They're called symbiotic supplements. So symbiotics combine probiotics and prebiotics into one gut-friendly supplement that helps the good bacteria thrive. So a symbiotic contains both the pro and the pre, and we can post the one that um, I, I usually take, but you don't have to take that one. You can look at whatever brand you take for prebiotics or probiotics and see what they have. It's more of a reference, in, or if you're looking for one, um, it's always nice to have somebody recommend something. Um, so the second thing that you can do is help your beneficial. Everybody probably has a, a, a certain amount of the good bacteria, which is the bacteroidetes, whatever it's called, bacteria. Um, they thrive by eating foods bursting with antioxidants called polyphenols. You might have heard of polyphenols. So polyphenols are found in brightly colored vegetables, so carrots and broccoli and, and, you know, even beets. So brightly colored vegetables. Coffee actually has some polyphenols, but you just want to drink it in moderation. And um, you don't want to drink too much, but you also want to make sure that what you're putting in your coffee isn't going to, you know, dilute the fact that you've, you're drinking it for some of the good health benefits. You put too much sugar, too much artificial flavor, too much artificial all that crap, and your coffee is now just um, a dessert, not really helping you out. So just keep that in mind. And chocolate has polyphenols, 
better to eat the dark chocolate, the darker the better. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. You do want to avoid sugars and starches because those are gonna feed the bad bacteria. Gut microbes make a hormone, this is interesting. It's called FIAF, fasting induced adipose factor. And it produces that hormone, which tells the body to stop storing fat and burn it. So to ramp up the, your, your FIAF, or your fat-induced adipose factor production, ditch the candy and the white bread. You probably want to ditch all of those bad things, the sugar, the candy, the white bread. When the bacteria are hungry, they make more of that hormone that says burn fat, and then you burn fat. So just make sure you're eating the right thing. So the, the fourth um, thing you can do is um, eat a, a low toxin, anti-inflammatory, high nutrient diet that will help the good bacteria thrive and keep the bad guys at bay. Um, do a shot of apple cider vinegar a day. So we're doing the apple cider vinegar challenge that I was talking about at the beginning. Do an apple cider vinegar shot every day. Um, even just one, not only will it help with digestion, but I'm going to give you the tips on everything else it's going to do if you do my challenge. Um, so just do at least one shot a day. Um, the next thing is to make sure you're hydrated. Hydration is extremely important for keeping you alert, keeping you feeling healthy, keeping your immune system good, and everything, all of your body functions functioning appropriately. If your urine is dark yellow, like a golden color, you need to drink more water. If your, your, your urine should be very, very pale. It should be very pale. You should almost have like clear urine so that it doesn't even look like it's yellow coming out. The exception to this is if you've taken vitamins, like vitamin C is going to darken your urine, make it that bright yellow color. So if your urine is bright yellow after you've taken your vitamins, you're just peeing out that excess. That Some of them are water soluble and any vitamin that's water soluble, you'll pee out the excess what your body doesn't need. So that that's the only reason that your water or your urine uh, might be a, a darker color um, and it's okay. So you want to hydrate. You want to drink at least 50% of your body weight in ounces. So for instance, if you weigh 100 pounds, which most of us don't, but it's easy math, you want to drink 50 ounces of water, 50 ounces of water. Um, my step two, where's my step two? Hydrate of my weight loss um, helps keep you hydrated. This helps reduce the bloating. Your body is holding on to two things. It's holding on to fat and it's holding on to water unless you're getting rid of the toxins because that's the only two ways your body can protect your vital organs. The fat I already talked about, it's producing more fat and holding on to the fat so that it can hide those toxins from your vital organs. It, your body will also hold on to water, how you feel bloated, um, to dilute the toxins. So those are two ways. Your body can hold on to water a lot faster than it can produce a, a fat cell. So the bloating is a very quick fix for your body um, to um, protect you. So holding on to water. So my hydrate contains the ingredients that you need that will help increase the your hydration from within but get rid of that excess that you don't need. And part of the reason it does that is because it doesn't just increase your hydration status, but it actually detoxes your body of the toxins that are causing your body to hold on, produce fat, and hold on to water. So it contains aloe. Aloe and uh, shilashi are two ingredients that are are uh, very good natural ingredients that are going to pull toxins out of your cells, pull toxins out of your body and eliminate them. That is going to help then also to get rid of that excess bloating, the excess water weight and help your body not produce the fat. It's going to actually help the opposite, help you release the fat. Tell your body it's okay. Get rid of the fat, get rid of the fat, get rid of the fat, get rid of the fat. Daily detoxing is a must. I sort of just talked about that. Um, we retox every single day. If you're not daily detoxing, your body will hold on to fat. 
toxins come in through your mouth, they come in through pollution, they come in through your skincare, depending on what kind of skincare you're using. Um, it, so detoxing every single day is extremely important. Step one, step two, all three of these contain things that will help detox your body. That's how important it is. The cleaner your body, the cleaner the function. And the cleaner it can be because it doesn't need to make this and it doesn't need to hold on to water. Here's some interesting foods. So foods that will naturally detox your body include fats and oils. You want good fats, good oils. I love MCT oil. When I make um, another hack that I do for diet, um, I will drink a shake in the morning. I drink my breakfast. I'll put my multivitamin. I have a powder multivitamin. Um, I load up my shake. It's not filled with like sugary things. It is literally a, uh, it tastes great. Um, but my shake, I will put MCT oil right in my shake and I will do that. MCT oil or coconut oil is great at killing candida. Almost all of us, we all have candida in us because it's normal that, I mean, you can't live without it really if you were exposed to it. It's when you have too much of it that it can cause problems. It can cause itchiness. It causes rashes. Some people's skin conditions are related to candida. Um, toenail fungus, that is related to candida. So just adding a little bit of MCT oil. I like the MCT coconut oil gets like, it, it, it will solidify. And I trust me, I tried it in a cold shake. So not good. MCT oil blends right in. So add some MCT oil, right, Victoria, great for the gut. What about probiotic foods, Claudia? So probiotic foods are great. Um, you're, you're talking like kimchi and kombucha. Just make sure that they're not high in sugar. Um, I know kombucha, um, if you're buying commercial kombucha, just be careful. They're, they're flavoring them with juices and, and they're too sugary. Um, that could actually do the opposite and cause a disruption in your microbiome. So you just want to make sure that what you're eating, the less sugar you eat, the better off your health. So keep the sugar low. Um, foods that naturally detox your body include the fats and oils, nuts and seeds, nuts and seeds. So sunflower um, seeds, pumpkin seeds, those types of things and nuts, almonds are great. Protein, clean protein. Obviously, you want to eat as clean a protein as you can. Legumes, fruits, and vegetables, especially green vegetables. Very detoxing, very detoxing. Um, you want to support your daily detox. These are some of the ingredients that are going to detox you. Aloe vera. If you're taking supplements for detox or taking something to help you detox, aloe vera is very good. Shilajit, methionine, and lysum berries. Those are all what I put in my three-step detox product, weight loss product. And then the last thing is make sure you're getting your sleep. Make sure you are getting your sleep. That's going to do one of the um, most important things for your immune system. Your body can recuperate. It can detoxify at night and it can help um, and reset your body. But it also, you want to make sure that you're providing um, what you need for your body to support your body during sleep. And that would be amino acids. Um, I know uh, most sleep supplements do not contain anything but things to support your sleep. Um, you know, a lot of herbal things and um, uh, melatonin and um, things like that. But you, none of those things are actually supporting your body. So what happens at night, especially for you if you're wanting to lose weight, if you just want to sleep, that's one thing. But other things are happening while you're sleeping. So my sleep, which is part three of my weight loss program, contains colostrum. It contains vitamin B6, which is going to support your body's functions while you're sleeping. And it contains velvet antler extract. Those three things, will, the, especially the colostrum, will provide the amino acids that your body needs to still do the bodily functions and help repair your body while you're sleeping. Without that, your body will break down muscle, not fat. But if you're providing those amino acids and your body needs energy and you are detoxing, hydrating, and supporting your metabolism, your body, guess what, while you're sleeping? And it has those amino acids because you're taking sleep. Your body will use fat. You can actually burn fat while you're sleeping. It's incredible. It's actually incredible. 
but you have to set yourself up for success. So that's what I did with my supplements. The metabolism supports your metabolism. You're, it's going to support everything that you need to utilize the food, utilize your energy, everything um, efficiently. It also contains um, ingredients that are going to help detox you. Um, L, it's got L-arginine in it, Shad de Bougra, which is a tea that's going to help reduce your appetite. Um, and then uh, guar Guarana extract, uh, the Isonatil choline. Um, these all support your body's ability to function correctly. And then hydrate. Um, hydrate goes in your water. You drink it throughout the day. That, like I said, is going to help get rid of toxins, and it's also going to help get rid of the excess water, it excess bloat. Hi, Tracy Joe. What about monk fruit sugar? Kathy, uh, so monk fruit, um, monk fruit does, is an antioxidant. So monk fruit is not really a sugar, and it's not really going to impact. Um, I caution, the only thing I caution, um, so it's, it's probably the best thing out there, monk fruit. Just remember that sugar doesn't just affect your body. This is one, this is another hack just to keep in your mind. Sugar doesn't just affect your body. And by that, I mean like your blood sugar spikes. Sugar affects your brain or, or sweet. I should say sweet because monk fruit's not really sugar. It's sweet. And your brain has no idea if the sweetness came from monk fruit or sugar. It has no idea if it's fructose, sucrose, if it is um, any of those fake ones. And it, it has no idea. All your brain knows is it wants more. So using the more sweet that you eat, the more you want. And it's all to do with your brain. And your brain has no idea. No idea what the what form of sweet it came from. So that's my only caution about monk fruit. But of all the choices, monk fruit's probably the best. That's what we put in our tooth powder. Um, I'm on my second shot of ACV. Yes, uh, Victoria, I'll be doing um, my second shot later. Actually, I think I did two already today. I'm drinking Hydrate right now. Yay! I love it. So yay! Me too, Victoria. It's in here. I, I love using Hydrate in my water with some lemon. It tastes so good. I know. I love it with the lemon. And it does give it a good flavor. Thank you, Kaysen. Thank you. Hey, good to see you. Um, so, um, and somebody had the question about goalies. Goalies, goalies, goalies. Yeah, so I can't remember who it was, but goalie. So goalie right now, that's, um, it's a little gummy. It's a gummy. It's got apple cider vinegar in it. Um, my kids eat goalie. My kids use those or take those. I can't take them because they have cane sugar in them. So that's my problem. So what I'm trying to do right now, I'm working with my formulators and we are working on a formula of a gummy that's for your immune system that is sugar free. My problem with gummies and my problem with immune um, boosting type of um, liquids is that they all use some form of sugar. Like, and even honey, um, ha even though honey is better because it can give you some boosting properties, it's still sugar. And sugar will ultimately deplete your immune system. So especially in these gummies that are super sweet, and um, so really what you're getting is you're trying to boost your immune system with some good things in it, but the sugar is actually making it probably worse or possibly worse. Um, so I do like the Goalie brand because we do use that primarily because I can't find anything else out there that has great ingredients without the sugar. So hence why I'm making my own. Um, no sugar. It tastes like no sugar. Um, it's made with herbs and it tastes like herbs and it's potent and these are um, under your tongue type of supplements they go right under your tongue and the reason for that here's the bonus of taking these the way that uh, under your tongue is that under your tongue you're going to absorb it regardless of whether your gut is sick or healthy if your gut if you suffer from malabsorption syndrome you are probably not absorbing your food your nutrients and your supplements, you're pooping them all out. If you put it under your tongue, if you take my sleep or you take metabolism, which are the two that really go under your tongue, the other one kind of goes in your water. If you want to fast hydrate, if you're really dehydrated, you can put it under your tongue. Trust me, it works. Um, these go right under your tongue. You will absorb them. It doesn't matter what kind of gut health history you have. 
So that's really the benefit. That's the reason I did that. Um, I know as a nurse, I've seen too many bedpans filled with pills. I know. I know most people don't absorb their pills. I know that. I've seen it. Preach it, Trina. Sweet on my taste buds is like drugs to me. I avoid it at all costs. Jody, you're just like me. You're like me. I, I do enjoy some things, but I, I do not want sugar. I have pretty much cut all sugar out of my diet at this point. I take Mary Ruth Organics ACV gummies, but just looked at it and it has two grams of sugar. Yes, they all do. They all do. So um, I, I use Bragg's. Yeah, Jody, thank you. I use Bragg's. I would absolutely buy that. I can't feel good about giving my family a gummy supplement that has sugar. I know, I know. Hello, I'm new here. What brand of ACV do you recommend? Oh, hi, Debbie. Yes, um, Jody answered. I use Bragg's, um, but you, you know, the main thing is you want the mother. You want it to be cloudy um, because the cloudiness is the good part of it. Sometimes you'll see the sediment at the bottom. I walk you through day one, I believe day one of my apple cider vinegar challenge talks about the mother and what it's good for, what's all in there, but it's got like the minerals and a lot of the nutrients and the probiotic type of um, bacteria in there. So make sure it's cloudy. Um, Bragg's is what I use, but there are other brands that are also good. So, um, and Victoria uses Bragg's. Bragg's has been around for a long time, so they're very well known. But if you go to a health food store and they don't have Bragg's, but they have one, and it, just make sure that it's cloudy. It's apple cider and it's vinegar and it's cloudy. So that's the deal. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it. I've got to get off here. So I do hydrate straight the other day. Potent. <laughs> so she did hydrate, which is step two, straight. And I'm telling you, I'll do it straight right now. It is very, that's the uh, shalaji. Under your tongue, it's potent, but it actually tastes really good. I actually really like the taste of it, um, but it will pull the water and I, in probably about 20 minutes to a half hour, I will just pee because it's gonna pull the water and then the excess water that I don't need. It's also taking toxins out, which is really great. So the more hydrated you are, the better your body can flush those toxins out so um, it's a really, I mean, it's, it's powerful. It's powerful. These three things, my three step, supports your body's ability to maintain a healthy weight or to lose the weight that you don't, that you're holding on to because you're toxic or because you can't sleep or because of whatever reason. But if you can keep your mouth healthy and you can keep your weight at a normal healthy weight, you are going to be so much healthier and less at risk for diabetes. Some people have actually been able to get off their medications or at least cut them back. Blood pressure medication um, or, or high blood pressure, heart disease. Some of these things you can actually help and reverse if you can control those two things, your good mouth health as well as um, a healthy weight. So um, I'm here to help you guys. If you do it straight, does it work faster? Jeanette, you're talking about not apple cider. Don't do apple cider straight, apple cider vinegar straight. Um, I just want to be clear. Does it work faster? So it does work. Uh, it just works faster, and it's gonna. It, it's it's to do when you're really dehydrated. If you feel really dehydrated, so um, I'm just using this as a, an extreme example. But someone that just ran a marathon, what you could do, what they could do is do a shot of this and drink some water, and the, and it's gonna help pull the water in and between drinking and pulling water in, it's gonna flush their system. So. Um, Yes, it will work faster, but on the average day, putting it in two or three bottles of water throughout the day is really all you need. Can you please sell hydrate separately? Tracy Jo. Tracy. Let me um let me let me think about that. Let me work on that. Um 18 months. I like putting hydrate in my water because it forces me to drink more and I don't drink enough. Jody's right. You're right. I mean, if you put it in there, you're gonna drink it, right? That's how I am. I like to do that, but I do drink. I um, thanks. I have Bragg's. It's cloudy. I will do it right now. Yes. Just dilute it. Just dilute it. At least one to one. One to one. And join me, guys. Two is very potent. It's, they're all potent, but step two is really potent. It's the shalashi, which is um, like volcanic ash. Seriously. Loaded with vitamins, minerals, and potent detoxification powers. So we're good. We're good. I'm going to get you guys all healthy. One way or another, through your mouth and through the, um, the supplements. All right, thanks guys, bye. Bye guys.